So if you're like me and Halo Infinite hasn't been doing it for you lately, and you also want a different Halo experience that isn't overly competitive 10 plus year old games on MCC, then you've come to the right place. Even if you like Halo Infinite or you're perhaps content with the plethora of content MCC offers, I still think this game is worth mentioning, and with that, I'd like to present you Spartan Firefight, a 2D fan-made Halo game developed by Doberman Studios for both Steam and mobile. Now before you click off this video, I know what you're thinking. Oh, a shitty mobile knockoff. It's probably riddled with microtransactions. Well to that, I just want to say that this game has no microtransactions at all. At least, not on the PC release available through Steam, which by the way is super cheap. In fact, right now you can pick it up for only $2. $2 gets you a Halo game with all of the content. No rec packs, no battle pass bullshit, no loot boxes, and the mobile version is free with ads, and while it does feature some microtransactions, I genuinely didn't find them to be too intrusive. I just want to say before I get into the rest of this video that I am in no way sponsored by or endorsed by Doberman Studios. I bought the game with my own money, and I'm only making this video because I think it's a genuinely cool game that not enough people know about. I also want to say that I highly recommend shelling out the $2 to buy the Steam version, as I think it's much better suited for PC controls with the ability to control your character better with keyboard and mouse. The mobile version is a little bit, well, it's really hard to control. That being said, let's talk about the PC version and all it has to offer, which is in my opinion, the best way to experience this game. Booting up the game for the first time, you'll be greeted by an awesome pixel art screen that depicts Master Chief looking over the mountains at a pine forest, while Martin O'Donnell's Never Forget plays in the background. Then you see a plethora of options to choose from. You can select Firefight, where you can then hop into a game on a few distinct maps inspired by classic Halo levels and fight the Covenant or the Flood to your heart's content. That's right, the Flood is in this game with all their disgusting forms. You have regular Firefight and objective Firefight, where you'll need to fight your enemies while doing one of the following, capturing a flag, holding an oddball, or controlling a hill. In addition to this, there are always two challenges for you to complete that refresh every day. Completing these challenges will get you credits like they did back in the days of Halo Reach, which you can then spend in the in-game store that, as I mentioned before, on PC has no microtransactions whatsoever. And even on the mobile version, like I said, the microtransactions are pretty reasonable and the amount of credits you get from just playing the game are pretty fair. It's actually feasible to just earn credits without paying any real money. Add to this the fact that to celebrate the game getting 3 million downloads recently, the developer just went and gave everyone 30,000 credits for free, with the most expensive unlocks in the game being 50,000 credits, so even if you've never played this game before, you can still get quite a lot without having to lift a finger. Then we have custom games, where you can customize the full firefight experience to your liking. Want to torch the flood with the flamethrower the whole time? You can do that. Want to have a never-ending match of all grunts that kill you with a spart- that you kill with a spartan laser? You can do that too. The options for the custom games are quite extensive for a mobile game. On top of the regular firefight modes, there's a marathon mode section where you can play three matches each day of a special game mode that changes depending on the day, and upon completion you'll receive a certain number of stars based on your performance. At the end of each season, you get credits based on how many stars you got. And that brings me to my next point, seasons. As you play the game, you'll get XP points towards a progression system that will enable you to unlock armors and cosmetics that are rotated every few days. But there's also a larger general progression system that allows you to upgrade your weapons. Every season, there's a unique cosmetic that is often based off of something we see in the other Halo games. For instance, the last season reward I got was a holographic Halo ring to butt above my character's head. Now further on to customization. The amount of it in this game is absurd, and I mean that in the best way possible. You can change your helmet, your visor, your shoulders, chest plate, weapon skin, vehicle skin, emblem, and colors. Oh, and the colors aren't locked behind microtransactions or grinding at all. So, take notes 343. Beyond this, the game also gives you the option to unlock playable elites and even the Arbiter for 50,000 points, which I personally earned fairly quickly. So yes, in a fan-made Halo game, we have playable elites. Once again 343, take notes. On top of that, we also have two very cool customization options that are entirely unique. You can get a pet guilty spark that will follow you around the map and hum softly while you fight the bad guys, or a Cortana that'll sit on your shoulder. It's something that I really appreciate as guilty spark is one of my favorite characters in the franchise and Cortana's pretty cool too and it's just nice to have that extra level of customization. Then to show off your character to the rest of the world, there's a pretty cool multiplayer mode. I actually ended up enjoying the mode a lot more than I expected to. While it can be laggy sometimes, it's still a lot of fun. 
It's a PvP game mode where you play in Slayer-oriented game modes or fight for objectives. There's the option to play custom games in a bot-based training mode as well. It's not something that you'll get hours and hours of entertainment at all at once, but it's fun to play for an hour or two here or there. My biggest gripe with the multiplayer though has to be two things. One is that as far as I know, you can't easily play a match with your friend. The game has a pretty low population in the first place, so there's a good chance that if you both click search match at the same time, you'll probably be put into the same lobby. But that being said, during peak times, like on a weekend, you'll often end up in different matches. And again, as far as I know, there's currently no way to invite your friend directly to a game. My next major and perhaps bigger gripe is that there's no way to play regular firefight with a friend. You can only play the PvP multiplayer mode, which is a real shame as while I do appreciate the PvP, I still think the PvE is where this game really shines. Back on the topic of customization, there's more. Not only can you customize your individual Spartan, or Elite, you can also customize the maps. There's actually a forge mode in the game, and it's quite extensive and extremely easy to learn how to use. Not only can you move objects and weapon pods around the map, but you can even manipulate the terrain itself. Every aspect of the maps is up to you to decide. The mode starts you off on a completely blank canvas where you can build as much as the forge budget lets you, which is a fairly generous amount considering that it did start as a mobile game, though it could be a bit bigger. But still, it's an amazing thing that allows us to create our own firefight maps in Halo for the first time ever. I made my own map that I'll put footage of in the background, and the entire map was made by me. All the floors, the walls, the crates, even the enemy spawns. I was able to make all of that too in about 30 minutes. Like I said, it's quite intuitive, but also extensive at the same time. At the end of the day, I can't praise this game enough. It's quite a lot of fun, and I have more than gotten my money's worth out of it, and I still have a desire to play even more than after putting 24 hours into the game, I still want to play it. I strongly recommend giving this game a buy if you're a PC gamer. The dev really deserves the support, and I just love the fact that something like this exists. In a lot of ways, it's everything we need in a mainline Halo game right now. Good customization, gameplay, custom games, just a big sandbox of things to do. Like I said before, 343 and Microsoft need to take note of this. That's going to be it for me today, though. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed, and go play this game. It's a lot of fun. As always, thank you for watching, and subscribe if you want to see more content on the channel. I have been Broken Circle, and that's going to be it for me, so... Have a great day, and as always, stay safe. Bye, guys.